Hello everybody, Lance here. Today we're going to talk about torso length and considerations in the push-up. So <laughs> today is a bit of a, an exercise in empathy. We're trying to figure out what this person feels like. At least for me, it's an exercise in empathy because I am short and stocky and I, <laughs> as Jonathan Fass told me once, we have good lifting levers, aka we are short. Um, so you train someone who's tall and they just can't get the stiffness that, you know, is so you're so used to getting. Um, it's common. Uh, there are, you know, volleyball players, for example, they all present the same way because they all got these long skinny torsos and it makes them really good at their sport, but it makes it hard to do push ups, for example. So if you consider the length of the torso, if it's six inches longer, I have six inches more of torque on my abdomen, on my ab muscles that I need to control. And so if I push harder, I'm going to amplify that times, you know, that that six inch difference. And, you know, moment arm is, is the easiest way to manipulate torque about a joint. So it it really amplifies. And even just putting a little bit of weight on somebody with a long torso like that, that really gets amplified, right? Compared to, you know, if I put a 45 pound plate on my bag, it's probably like a volleyball player putting a 10 pound plate on their back. It's, you know, it's not that big a deal. Um, so <laughs> you need to be able to consider the shape of the person, what they've been given, like the hand they've been dealt, and then what that means for their performance. So, you know, in the volleyball example, it makes them really good at their sport. They have good reach. They are they have good vision, like they can see a lot more on the court. Uh, but <laughs> doing push ups might not be that great um, or they might not excel at doing push ups. Push ups might still be a very good idea for them and you should still train them. But it's not, you know, it's not a, a test for them. They're never going to test their strength. Like, like I'm not really training for anything, so I can test my strength and see how much weight I can put on my body for a push-up for, you know, maybe one or three push-ups and see what I can do, right? Because that's just my little way of keeping myself motivated while I train. But for them, they're never going to do that because they're never good at push-ups. And they're when they when they get better at it, they're not they're very small increments, right, of of improvement. But being able to stabilize that long trunk while moving and loading their upper body is tremendously valuable for them. OK, um, and, you know, if you flip flop it, instead of thinking like this person is weak at this, what if you have a short person? Maybe give them push ups, maybe give them squats and deadlifts because they're going to be really good at that stuff. Um, you know, maybe more squat, less deadlift if you got that short torso. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of the point, though. Consider individual differences and treat people differently.